Hello, my soccer universe. Time for another Women's World Cup update. Um, and today, I haven't watched highlights. I have actually watched the games. Two games were today, both for Group E. I'm wearing my Dutch jersey. The Dutch women won their second game and qualified for the second stage, as did Canada. Um, however, it was everything but easy and straightforward. It was actually a lot of work, and I have to say, the Dutch women, as good as they played on home soil in the European Championship two years, years ago, there is something not quite clicking. It seems all imprecise, there's not the speed there. I wonder if maybe the temperatures have to do something with it. I don't know, but it doesn't look very convincing what the Dutch are playing. And part of it is maybe that Cameroon um, also met the Dutch with a lot of physical resistance and Honestly, there should have been a red card late in the, in the first half from Belek, who had a really high foot damage. He attempted a clearance, got the ball, put the foot way high, almost into the face of the uh, Dutch player. Fortunately, it didn't connect. And there was another one. I'm, I mean, it was not... Um, it was not mean spirit spirit, but there were a lot of Dutch women lying around uh, because Cameron really brought the physical force and disrupted the Dutch quite some. However, then once they got it going and um, it uh, was over Van der Sanden, uh, it was a wide pass, Van der Sanden plays a 1-2 uh, into the box makes a cross and Miedema can um, just slot, slot in and I don't know why Vivian Miedemann, number nine for me. I always think female Van Basten, although I'm not 100% sure <laughs> if that's an accurate description, but she's tall and she makes goals. So that's Van Basten-like. So you think the Dutch get something going and finally the Dutch crowd was into it again because there was almost no crowd for them. Uh, I mean, it was full with Dutch fans, but it was not uh, very atmospheric to say the least. But Cameroon hit right back. I, was, I think it was coming from the goalkeeper. Uh, goal kick uh, got uh, hit around the touch line. The ball was put forward. And the Dutch goalkeeper comes out way too late. And she cannot make counter. Yeah? And there's uh, Gabriel Onguene, who just with the head touches his past the goal. Goalkeeper can slot his home into the empty net. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a, uh, pretty certain that this is a goalkeeping keep, mistake. Although I know uh, everything is a little a little bit slow, but this was really uh, a very awkward goal for um, the Dutch. And you had to fear this. Yeah, they're not gonna get get going today. Quick note on the Cameron shorts. Now that I've seen them also in action, um, the new Le Coq Sportif ones. They look the part for Cameroon. Uh, it's just when you look at them with the two lions here, this is maybe a bit overkill. Also having the um, green pants instead of red pants. I know why they didn't play in red pants today, because you know it's cra crash clashes, not crashes, clashes with the orange of the Dutch. Why don't the Dutch women play with white pants? Then we could have seen that. Anyway, didn't look all bad. I mean, it looks like a Cameroon shirt. I still miss Puma, but. The last Camarusha for Puma was just crazy. So I really had, uh, I, I, I really was afraid this will be another one of those wins like against New Zealand where they are, have more possession but really no teeth in the attack. Fortunately, um, right after the half, um, it was a free kick that was intended for Bloodworth. I hope it's Bloodworth. <laughs> it's a very non Dutch name. Uh, she missed, but it hit a Cameroon defender and it fell right back to her and she could slot it home in the 48th. Uh, then the Dutch really played well for 15 minutes, but just couldn't get the second goal. And then almost Cameroon, uh, 10 to 10 minutes speed to go, almost equalized it. If that was blocked, that shot would have gone in, it would have been 2-2. Probably not that undeserved, although I think Cameroon... Uh, if they want to play, they could play well, but uh, I think they were a little bit too physically. It reminded me just a tad about the opening game for the 1990 World Cup, where Cameroon, yes, they beat Argentina, but they also got two red cards. And I think the second red card is probably one of the best red card uh, foul sequences that you'll ever see. I think Kanija just got... 
chopped off of the field there. Um, yeah, so almost 2-2, but then Miedema gets the ball, takes a shot. I think it's it looked like it was uh, central, but it was well... Um, the shot was cool, cool, will not be well seen by uh, the Cameroon defender. It's 3-1 for the Dutch. Six points. They're through to the next round. Just afraid it's not... It will not go a lot past the second round, although I would love to see it. So, yeah. Wearing my Dutch jersey, but it's not with a whole lot of pride. The second game, I uh, also could see uh, most of the second half and a little bit of the first half between Canada and New Zealand. And Canada is a team that I'm always excited to see because they were part in this 4-3 loss to the US in the 2012 Olympics. Uh, great, absolute great game. Uh, especially, I think Sinclair uh, scored three goals in there. Uh, taking the lead thrice and couldn't pull off the win. Uh, that was a crazy match. But I know that the last World Cup, which the host in the home cell, they were just dis disappointing. First game now was disappointing. And now against New Zealand, I was also disappointed, but most not by, by them. They, they play well by their jerseys. Uh, the Canada jerseys are probably the most boring ones, and I cannot wait for the review of those. Red with an awful crest. An absolutely awful crest on there. Um, shouldn't happen. The New Zealand jerseys are much better. I was like, actually when the Canada is playing in white and New Zealand in black, so we got red against white. Also not that, that bad, but I think the uh, black New Zealand jerseys are the ones that I'm really longing for. Canada dominates the game. Uh, has a huge chance in, 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 in the first half, where at first it, uh, Hedda hits the bar, then on the, on the rebound the Canadian girl wants to head it in, it hits the head of a New Zealand. <laughs> And then another one heads it out. And it was it was a crazy sequence. Fortunately for Canada, similar to the Netherlands, in the 48th minute they get the breakthrough through Jesse Fleming. Um, that was a nice build, build up. The ball got to the sides. It was then um, put back, and Fleming just could uh, head it, uh, just put it home. Um, then the New Zealand goalkeeper made. I think a great save at least twice in this match. Uh, she was she's actually pretty darn good. I already saw so as against the Dutch. I mean, she was a major reason that the Dutch uh, got a winner very well. I think her name is Naila. Um, she's a really good one, I have to say. But New Zealand rarely threatened, and it was only uh, fitting that after a head at, uh, at the uh, post. The ball falls to Michel Prince, who slots it home for 2 0, and that was that. Uh, 79th minute. Canada also get their win. So, in the table now, we have the Dutch 6 points, 4 1. Canada 6 points, 3 0. So, the Dutch still have the advantage. That means a draw between those two in the final game it will mean the Dutch will win the group. Otherwise, it will be Canada. I would favor Canada, actually. Canada, um, not excitingly, but they looked well. Cameroon, New Zealand will have a hard time qualifying. I mean, they are not necessarily out, but I think I don't see them qualifying. Tomorrow, two more matches. Uh, we have first Sweden against Thailand and then the US against Chile. Let's see how many goals they will score this time. I don't understand all the fuss in America about scoring that many goals and celebrating. They were paid. I mean, they're making in commercials. They are paid to celebrate that way. So, big deal. Big deal. I think we have more things to worry. Anyway, let me know what you thought about today's games, if you watched them. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.